What I'm going to be demonstrating is how to uh, use Microsoft Word tables, hyperlinks, and bookmarks to create a Requirements Verification Traceability Matrix, or RVTM, and this will help you trace your requirements through your designs, implementation, and test in a project. The first thing I recommend you do is create a directory with folders, one for the detailed design, high-level design, requirements, tests, and in the, this one directory put the main RVTM document where, which will hold the table. Now the example I'm doing here is on a Macintosh using the OS X operating system. There will be a couple of slight differences between this and Microsoft operating system Windows, but they're only slight. All the names are the same. Under Microsoft Windows, we're still using hyperlinks and bookmarks and tables. Okay, in the RVTM document here, I have set up a basic Microsoft Word table with my headings across the top and the contents down the columns. You can see I have a column where I put my requirements, where I link to requirements. You can see that when my cursor goes on top of a link, the name of the file pops up. I can go to that file by clicking on the link. If I'm in Microsoft Windows, I hit the control button while I click. You see I clicked and now I've gone to my requirements document and there I can see the requirements. I go back to the RVTM document. If I click on this link to a test, it takes me to the test document and here's my little test procedure. So let's go back to the RVTM and now let's fill in a couple of these cells and show you how to create links to the other documents. So I go to my detailed design document here and I've got a couple four uh, detailed designs typed in briefly. And what I want to do is I want to turn detailed design 3 and detailed design 4 into bookmarks and then use them as hyperlinks. So first I have to create bookmarks. I mark the text I want to bookmark. I go up here to insert bookmark and this is the exact same thing you would do under Microsoft Windows. Insert bookmark. I type in the name of the bookmark. I'll call it Detailed Design 3. Click on Add and I will do the same thing here. I'll make a bookmark down here insert bookmark give it a name detailed design or click on add okay save my file alright now I want to turn these bookmarks into hyperlinks in my RVTM table put your cursor up at the top of the document somewhere go to insert bookmark that brings up my bookmark table I click on Detail Design 3, I click on Go To, notice how it is highlighted, close the bookmark window, it's still highlighted, edit, copy. Go to the RVTM document, I want the hyperlink to be right here, put the cursor there, edit, and I want to paste the bookmark in as a hyperlink paste as hyperlink. And now you see the hyperlink. If I click on the hyperlink, it takes me to the detailed design document. Okay, now I want to take detailed design 4, use that bookmark as a hyperlink. Same thing, I put my cursor near the top of the document, click on insert, bookmark to bring up the bookmark window. I highlight detailed design 4, I click Go To, see how it is highlighted, close the bookmark window, it's still highlighted, so I edit, copy the highlighted bookmark, go to my RVTM, this is where I want to put it in my RVTM, right here, and I want to edit, paste the bookmark in as a hyperlink, so I click on Paste as Hyperlink, and you can see the hyperlink shows up. If I put my cursor on it and click, 
again in Microsoft Windows operating system. I hit control click and here I go to my detailed design document and there's detailed design 4. So you can see that I'm using Microsoft Windows which is what is usually used on project to record all the requirements and designs and tests. I use the tables, I use Microsoft's bookmarks and hyperlinks to create an RVTM that I can click through and go to the documents that I want. 